Hey guys, I'm back with another Wolfing Build video and today we'll be taking a look at Zevagoth, the Shadow Reaper. So, since uh, Zevagoth Prime is coming in around the corner, I think it's in, it's about a few days left, uh, I will be making a build for you guys, especially for those that who uh, that don't know that Zevagoth can nuke. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Zevagoth's best build is his nuke build. Uh, not a shadow build. Yes, he can look also. But yeah, let's get into the build. As you can see, I have three blue shards for energy max because I'm not using prime flow or any kind of flow energy max uh, stuff. And two duration shards, uh, red shards for duration. Very, very useful for all of my abilities. Uh, I subsumed my fort for roar before that ability damage boost is gonna be really nice. Or if you want a higher scaling build, you can either use terrify, or pillage or open them eyes if you want to that's slightly no that is just slower uh, armor strip but it works <laughs> uh, definitely pillage though the best one so let's get into the Zevagoth build as you can see here's the Zevagoth build Pro project projects <laughs> corrosive projection for uh, armor reduce uh, Archon continuity for my duration. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a rank 10, so that's why I'm using Archon continuity. Uh, Archon stretch for my ability range. Why Archon stretch is because uh, I am using the Dariga for that electric damage so I can get energy. Uh, rolling guard, you can use uh, normal stretch though, it's fine. Rolling guard for my uh, survivability. Blind rage and Umbral intensify for my strength. And equilibrium for my health to energy pickup. And the two most important mods, Dark Propagation and Shadow Haze. Shadow Haze increases Reap crit chance and also any enemies that get killed by Reap will spawn uh, another two. So, and they roam a lot. They roam around a lot. And this is where Dark Propagation uh, true potential lies. So since your shadow roams around, right? As you can see, Shadow's, shadow's Death Harvest also inflicts so. Your shadow will roam around, inflict so into enemies, kill them, and then the cycle repeats uh, for as long as you as they are on the field. You can of you of course need to recast them, and sometimes you have to recast them, but sometimes you also don't. So yeah, uh, my arcane is gonna be energized for energy, and of course mode augmented for my ability strength. So yeah. Uh, you don't really need multi augmented, but this uh, is a pretty good boost for roar and some reap damage. So yeah. So today I'll be using the Grimoire for uh, Kra Cantasil and uh, Zata's Invocation. This gives me universal uh, uh, universal orbs on death, and this gives me uh, energy regen on my alt fire, which is very nice for this build. Because my build did not have, as you saw, you did not have uh, any efficiency mods. It had 45% efficiency. So yeah, uh, Prime Fulmination for uh, Radial Attack range. Uh, accelerated Isoptope for Fire Rate and Lethal Turret also for Fire Rate. Multishot also, Radiation, uh, Multishot and also Dodge Speed for that better parkour quality of life. And of course, the Doriga, as you can see, here are the build, I mean here are the mods. Uh, you can of course copy the build if you want to. Uh, but the most important ones are Synth Deconstruct and Mystic Bond. This gives me free casting, uh, one free ability, and uh, this gives me health orbs uh, for equilibrium. So here's the health room build. Here you go. Uh, viral and electricity. Uh, nothing special. Very, very simple. Prime Firestorm's here for that radial attack range, as you saw, but you don't really need this. You can also use. Uh, yeah, vigilante armaments if you want to, but that is all. So yeah, uh, let's get into uh, playtesting. Um, yeah. Uh, so what do I think about Zevagoth? He is one of the hardest hitting nuking frames I have ever played with when those freaking mods came out. I mean, okay, so you can, oh, you don't really need dark propagation, right? You can just use, uh, uh, what's it called? reap because you're gonna be roaming around anyway spamming two and one uh it's just with two uh with, with the so mod it's just way better for quality of life stuff and of course more that or uh, more more kpm i guess but even without uh the new 
Shadow Propagation mod, as you saw, number two, number one. It's so strong. <laughs> oh, I'm full energy because I'm energized. Very nice. So yeah, two and one. That's the combo. Uh, when uh, the Shadow Reap, the, the Reap mod came out, I was like, this thing is so strong. <laughs> this thing is so, so strong. But, and then Dark Propagation came out. And I'm like, I don't think they came out at the same time. I don't remember. Uh, if I remember, they didn't. So, oh, fudge. Uh, that was my bad. So, after that release, oh, they died. Uh, it is really, really surprising. I'm like, damn, this is so strong. <laughs> this is kind of broken. <laughs> uh, because you saw the shadow like roams around a lot, right? Look, there's like three shadows that's like going everywhere on the map. Boom. Uh, see, see, they're, they're killing them over there. <laughs> I'm not even there yet. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Roar, of course, again, boosts my damage by actually a lot. Uh, like, the difference is like crazy. I'm not gonna lie. So, I did test it in Simulacrum uh, damage wise without Roar. Bruh! I'm so bad. Uh, without Roar, I think it was like 70k, 100k max without uh, Molt Augmented stacks, right? Without any Molt Augmented stacks. And with Roar, it like tripled it, I think. It went for, from 75k to like, uh, I think 300k with one ability because I'm like, okay, <laughs> that that's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, I was like, damn, that's insane. Uh, but yeah, Zavagoth. Uh, this is the only Zavagoth build that you need. Like, like, like actually. You don't need anything else. <laughs> no, that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. Let's so see. Yeah, I'm not doing that well right now. Right. Uh, the map also kind of sucks. How much kill do I have? Yeah. The map sucks. The tile set sucks. Well, yeah, you can get around 140 to 160 depending on tile set. Uh, uh, 120 if you're having a bad day like me. Ugh, not even 120. <laughs> but yeah, off oh, fight. Out of energy. Use my grimoire. Get that extra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. There's no one. There's literally no one. <gasps> Where's everyone? Oh, yeah. Uh, Zavagoth can scale pretty freaking well into the higher levels, like 5k plus, if, it, if he wants to, right? Especially when using Pillage, he pretty much scales infinitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, the viral also helps. Very nice, very nice. Very strong. Oh my god! A pillage also gives you, you know, sh shield gate. Or like, sh extra max shield capacity, which is very nice. Uh, very good way to shield gate yourself. Abuse shield gate without actually having a shield gate build. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those two extra slots I forgot to mention you for the Grimoire should be the Augur mods. The Augur Pact mod and the Augur Seeker for that shield gate. Because as you can see, I am not doing handy dandy right now. <laughs> I'm doing pretty bad. Oh man, skill issue. Oh, but yeah, uh, the Roar... So there's a, a lot of differences with the Roar build and the... Uh, the pillage build. The roar build is way more reliable since you don't have to spam a lot more. Remember with pillage you have to like armor strip them so you have to like spam a bit more than you, sh you uh, you're supposed to be doing. Uh, but it scales higher and it has a better survivability because of shield gate. Better shield gate at least is, is what I mean. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah I forgot to mention I have secondary frontier. <laughs> is it frontier? I forgot. Secondary frontier I think. Uh, if I reckon hit uh, overguard enemy, I think that was the thing. Uh, it gives me some kind of overguard. I steal their overguard in a way. Oh my god! But you don't really need it because I don't see a single Exodus unit right now. <laughs> they all die anyways. That's the problem. But yeah, uh, you see how freaking fast my uh, Grimoire recharges because of me killing a bunch of enemies really fast. Boom, I'm back. I should be using my Grimoire more. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> oh yeah, Acolyte. So, it does okay damage. It does pretty good damage. Uh, but it does more if there are more enemies nearby. Because bigger explosion, more explosion. Uh, I wanna bring him here though. If he comes here. 
Oh, hello. Boom. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, uh, more enemies equal more damage. If it's alone, then it's uh, pretty decent. It's very strong. Really? That much kills with a battle set? That's not bad. 164? 164? 640? What am I saying? Oh, yeah, 640, 672 in 5 minutes 30. That's pretty good for a tell set that is not giving me enemies and I've been dying a lot. Did I die a lot? I actually don't know. I have like very, very limited uh, memory. <laughs> uh, short term memory loss is so bad. Hey, as long as my long term memory is uh, fine, I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that is a Zemgoth, one of the hardest hitting nuking frames in the game. Really fun too if you don't like Shadow Shadow Zemgoth, which I don't really like to play Shadow Zemgoth because a lot of other Warframes does does it better, especially Baruch, Korra, Atlas, <laughs> a lot. I find I don't use the teleport, but whatever. So yeah, let's get into the recap. As you can see, I have three blue shards for energy. Two for red shards for duration, and I subsume four for roar. The build here is the build as you can see corrosive projection, archon con continuity, archon stretch, rolling guard, blind rage, intensify, brumble intensify, equilibrium, and of course, the two most important mods dark propagation and shadow haze. If you don't have this, use this first, right? Use shadow haze first, it's better than having dark propagation first. Uh, or if you want. Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, this is just better. <laughs> uh, this is the Grimoire build. Kra, Cantasil, and Zata's Invocation is the only thing that you kind of need here. And yeah, Fortifier, not Frontier. There you go. For every blah, blah, blah. On every enemies over guard. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, of course, uh, the Derigar build. Here you go. You only need Sim Deconstruct and Mystic Bond here. And the Viral Hellstrom build. And uh, yeah, that's all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.